Parvales. Parvales is going to be a guide on how to hunt Grax for profit. Now, whilst they can be hunted at uh, level 41, I believe, the requirements for this guide are going to be 70 Hunter, 30 Constitution, and Partial Completion, basically just starting Fairy Tale Part 2. You only need to have done Fairy Tale Part 2 up to the point where you are given permission to use the Fairy Ring system as it makes doing this a lot easier. So here's what your armor setup's going to want to look like. Um, full Lariper or Grok, uh, Draymond or Luna stuff if you haven't completed Part 3 of the Fairy Tales, uh, Spotty OK, uh, Gloves of Silence and a decent shield as the Grax can actually dam do damage to you at lower defense levels. So your inventory is going to want to look like this, a teasing stick, bone crusher, a knife, and 25 willow logs. If you haven't got the bone crusher, you can substitute that, but um, obviously that helps with the bones that the the Grax drop for you. Um, there's no hatchet there, because some people like to cut down the trees and uh, constantly keep filling their inventory with logs so they can stay there for longer and get a full inventory of fur. I prefer to do 25 logs at a time and uh, speed up the runs. I, I feel that this um, lessens the boredom that you might feel from just staying in one area and doing the same thing over and over again. Onto the run itself, from the bank here in Xanaris, you're going to run down south east to the um, fairy ring. Uh, you're going to be wanting to teleport to CKR. If you could move your mouse quick enough from the location to teleport to location, as you can see, it will cut out the animation of the wheel spinning, which can save you a couple of seconds. Whether it's worth it or not to learn that, it's up to you. And once you uh, teleport here, you're going to want to run uh, west to the spots, as you can see on the mini-map, they're the... Um, current orange squares. This is the spot that I um, can do best at, as it were, is um, the kind of most north one, little load there. And what you do is you set up the trap, and you find yourself a grack, you tease it, you jump over, and then as soon as you can, so right click it if you want, jump back over again. What this will do is if, if the Grack jumps over your trap it will stop it from pushing you out of the way. Immediately loot its corpse. If you get tatty fur as you can see here, you just drop it on the ground, doesn't really matter. You immediately relay the trap, tease the next one and uh, repeat the process. One of the reasons I prefer this spot is because as I said they can jump over and if it does jump over you can run to um, this one to the east, lay the trap and the Grack will actually be stopped by the small plant and then you can walk back click jump again and uh, jump back over and they can of course do a jump a second time as this one does on this occasion at which point you just run back to the first trap as a grat cannot jump over the second one twice in a row but can alternate and then you jump and then um, what I like to do on the the next grat immediately after I've done this if I've still got the one to the east still set up I try and use that one first as otherwise I find I end up forgetting about it so that's just a little tip in case they jump see I'm going to tease him, run over to the one on the east, jump over it, wait for him to come, jump back over again, and he's going to fall into the trap. And now down to how much money you'll be making per hour using this method. As you can see, I got 11 Grack Furs off those 25 Willow Logs. That's a little bit under average, you tend to get about half, so 12. But if you do get 11 in an 8 minute trip, which is on average what you get, if you um, can do that consistently for an hour, you'll be looking at 623k um, per hour. As you level up Hunter, what will happen is the amount of Tatty Furs compared to the amount of Perfect Furs you'll get will change to the point where you'll be getting a lot more Perfect Furs than Tatty Furs. So as you can see, at 80 Hunter you could be looking at 700k an hour, 90, 800k, and even at 99 people have been getting over 1 mil an hour, especially when the prices are slightly up. Um, so overall it's a very good way to gain money. You don't need um, particularly any high combat stats. Training to about 70 Hunter isn't really that hard doing um, a f combination of falconry or chin chompers. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like, and if you really want to, subscribe. Anyway, I've been Paddy Boss, and I'll see you soon.